Hey everybody, Kyrie091 hanging out with you. Boy oh boy are we going to have big fun today taking a look at a uh, basic thing on uh, paint.net, uh, how to make shiny metallic looking letters. So I've never done a uh, paint.net tutorial or pretty much any kind of software tutorials before, um, but I looked around on YouTube and didn't find a good one. Then I discovered how to do this on my own. So. I'm going to share with you guys what I have found. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go over to our blank thing here. I like to do all of my text editing on a separate layer um, just because I, I don't know, I find that easier. I'm going to use a boring font like Times New Roman for this one. And we'll pick a nice color, uh, like a kind of gold looking color, maybe like a, like a deep yellow there, right? Okay. And we're just going to write some text. Hey, everybody. Hashtag big fun. All right, so we got our text written. Um, let's just for in the for the sake of making this a little bit easier, I'm gonna get rid of everything else around it. All right, so there's our text. Hey everybody, big fun. Just using the layer with your text on it, we can disable the back layer, whatever it doesn't matter. Um, using the layer with the text on it, let's do this. We're gonna do these effects. We're gonna go to photo. We're gonna go to glow, and by the way, this this one is a default one. You don't need a plugin for this. There are plugins you can get to add cool text formations and stuff, but uh, the basic photo glow should be um, part of like Paint.net when you get it. We're gonna turn the brightness all the way down, the contrast all the way up, the radius all the way down, and click OK, and it adds a very faint little border around our letters. There it is, and we can push Control F to keep running it. So every time we push Control F, you can see it does that same border again. And by the time it's done, we end up with these letters with a neat looking border on it, right? So uh, how do we now turn these into pretty shiny letters? I mean, they are gold, but they're not pretty and shiny. We're going to use the, um, uh, the gradient tool. We're going to choose the diamond. You could also use the radial. Um, and we're going to go to no repeat and we're going to use white as our primary color and then as our secondary color It doesn't matter what you choose because you're going to turn the opacity all the way down to zero You can see when I do it on let's go back up to layer two You can see what it does it creates like that little That little uh, glow right which is kind of cool. So now at this point I left a little bit of glow in there, but that's fine for our purposes. At this point, you're going to need to grab the yellow parts of the letters, and you can do that with the magic wand tool by uh, clicking um, all the letters. There is a shortcut that you can, like, double-click or something to grab everything that is all that same color, um, but I, I doesn't ever seem to work for me, so um, I'm just going to click all the letters individually including the little dot on the I and the B and then the hashtag sign here. And now we just go back to our gradient tool. Remember we have it set to white and then um, the secondary is blank, zero opacity, so it doesn't do anything. And look, we can go like this, right? We can put little shinies throughout our words like so. And it doesn't really matter where you put them, just however you want it to, to look. You just pick places that you think it'll look nice. Um, so anyways, the point is, is that you can just basically put these sparkles wherever you think that they're going to look nice, um, in your text. And then just, you know, control D to be done with it. And now you can see we have some golden text with a couple of little shinies spruced throughout it that didn't mess up our little outline and it looks kind of good. Uh, so something like that. Anyways, guys, this is Kyrie 91 um, helping you out today. If you liked this video, if you found it useful, please leave me a like, uh, subscribe, because if you guys enjoyed this, if anybody got anything good out of this, hey, who knows, maybe I'll do more of these. So be sure to stick around the Kyrie channel. Otherwise, you're going to end up missing out on all of the... Hang on. No. On all of the big fun that we're going to have here at the Kyrie channel. Um, for now, everybody, thank you for watching. Bye. Have a good day. Hey everybody, this is Kyrie091. If you enjoyed this video or maybe you just like the sound of my voice like I do, consider subscribing to the Kyrie channel for more big fun.